leaders. Gates are back and they're sent on their way in. It's a nice level beginning. Quite a scramble for the early lead. Navash is pushing forward, rocking on the moon, going around them all on the far side. He's up to look for the lead. Miss Jackson back at the fence is right in touch with them. Navash is just in behind those, settling back in third. They being followed then by Call Me Darling races in that fourth placing and My Cherry races next. In behind that, Put the Berries being ridden along to try and hold her position. Back along the inside, Spider Web. One caught between runners. We'll pick that one up in a moment. On the far side of that is Florik, who's about seven or eight lengths off the lead. Brinkley was the one hidden on the far side, and she's racing nine lengths off them. St. Elmo's Fire Race is just in behind that. Elusive Rose is back at the fence and a dozen lengths off this leader. Pardo Shah Race is just in behind that one. And Explosive Cookie is now the trailer, and 15 lengths would cover them. Rocking on the Moon is out in front past the 800 metres. She has the lead now by two lengths. Back along the inside, Miss Jackson is racing up in second. Deep on the outside, Call Me Darling. The Vasher is poised to have a crack at the leader. She corners one and a half lengths off the speed. Racing just in behind that, we've got My Cherry, who's about three lengths off them. Towards the outside, Florik in the green is also starting to make progress as they start the dash for home now with 400 metres left to go. Rocking on the moon has won the battle for the lead on the outside. Navasha has switched in and sets out after her. My Cherry is trying to run on in behind that. The rest have got some running to do. It's Rocking on the moon who's out in front. Navasha is trying all she can to wear her down along the inside, but Rocking on the moon is showing no signs of stopping. She's clear as they come to the final hundred. Navasha is now coming strongly in the closing stages, but Rocking on the Moon stays on to win from Navasha. St. Elmo's Fire came on behind